I'm looking like I'm gonna get it, you probably don't get it. I come in your house with a microphone looking like I'm about to set up a show in your kitchen. I'm out of my mind, but I feel like if I never make it, don't make any difference. I'm still gonna kill it, you know. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Bradford's Eagles going up against Banning's Giants. So now let's go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where Jim and Phil have the call. And Caleb Sturgis looks ready to get this one underway. And Dwayne Harris will be back deep for the opening kickoff. And this heated rivalry matchup is underway. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. He has twice been named Super Bowl MVP quarterback Eli Manning. I think the first thing that comes to my mind every time I talk about Eli Manning with the New York Giants, the fact that he has never missed a start in his career. That is some outstanding. First down at the 20. Fights through that hit. And with no options, he goes ahead and throws it away. The running back position today will be handled by Rashad Jennings. Look, he's a veteran running back who has power and speed, but he also can block for the quarterback. So you love guys like this that can always stay on the field. Mannings all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Graham wraps up the quarterback. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Third down. The Eagles with a nickel look here on defense. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Ball is out. And the touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles. This defense has some mentality, don't they? Not only do they want turnovers, they want points to go with it. Nice job of taking it all the way back for the touchdown. Now they come out for the point after. Of course, this year, the new rule, the PAT is snapped from the 15-yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33-yard point after attempt. the touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Eagles proved this last drive that they are a ball hawking unit out there. And, and you know you got to know that on the offensive side you're playing against the ball hawking unit. When they're like that you've got to get your arms around the football and protect it. That was a bad job by the offensive ball carrier. First down at the 20. Manning's pass will go for an incompletion. One player to watch on that Philadelphia defense is Byron Maxwell, the cornerback they picked up in the offseason from Seattle. Yeah, they needed help in that secondary, too, on the defensive side. And Maxwell can cover man-to-man, -man, and that will help out any defense, especially the Eagles.
Second down and ten. Donnell with the reception. Kendrick's there to take him down. What we're seeing so many times now in this league is the tight ends are getting so good that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them, and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football. The Giants come out with a split backfield. I think these linebackers are moving around because they're going to try to blitz the quarterback. Jenny is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And Jennings got it on the handle. And that picks up three. You got to go. If you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short games. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. The Giants and the Eagles, one of the best rivalries we have in the NFL. It is a good one, no doubt about it. I participated in it. Ball is out, and the defense has it. He's in the clear. Going to take it home for the touchdown. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long? Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. The Eagles for the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Giants have had trouble protecting their quarterback today. Manning's trying to stay upright and make the plays, but it's tough to do so when you're constantly being hit. Yeah, no matter what you do as a quarterback, though, you can't start looking at the pass rush. You have to keep your focus down the field, and you can't flinch. The Eagles sat at the line. Dime package. First down at the 23. Beckham is met after a gain of three. Second and seven on the way. The Giants lineup split backfield. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. Gets it out for the completion. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag, run to the flag of the end zone, or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. First down coming up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Gets to him for the sack. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed. Gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. Second down. Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. The defense showing a blitz. Jennings going to secure the handle. And Jennings is brought down. This time for eight.
Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. After that run, third and eight for the offense. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Manning from the shotgun. The Giants now move the chains. The Giants put themselves in a terrible situation. Third long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. What a catch by Odell Beckham Jr. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. is they, what's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. First and ten. Heaving it down the field. It's intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Bradford's lined up, two tight ends set. And Matthews is taking the handoff. Jim, the defense just missed a big opportunity there. They got the offense backed up, and they let them pick up a big first down. First and ten. And Matthews is handed the football. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Heats chirp. No one's going to get him now. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The Eagles lined up now for the point after. Extra point is good. The Giants have let this one get away from them today. Need to try and turn things around in a hurry. The score's 21 to 0. And a touchback. The Giants have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They're being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. First down at the 20. the sideline third catch today so far well he's got talent this receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way and I think his talent the way offenses are designed and the rules of the NFL 
it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. From the gun. Rashad Jennings with the reception. The Giants did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. So they complete one and still it's second down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Jennings going to take it on the counter. And Thornton in on the tackle. Jennings never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Jennings going to take the handoff now. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Jennings able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. They bring in the extra tight end. First down at the 47. Shakes off the tackle. It's now second down. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Will go Brown. He is tackled right at the 50. And that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. Will return in just a moment. Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients, better pizza. The Giants still driving as the second quarter gets underway. It's third down coming up. Playing press coverage to the outside. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Now first and ten. Here's the ball is out. This one's going back the other way. Fumbles are becoming more prevalent in the NFL because the defenders are getting so good at stripping that football away now. The Giants defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, uh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. So they coached them up on the sidelines. We'll see if we see different results. Lined up in the backfield. Matthews, right side. Collins is going to make the tackle. The Eagles have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. And Matthews has been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. Coming to the line at the 44. 
Matthews in the backfield. Single back set. The Eagles have it at the 44. Selig's got the grab on the touch pass. That's his first reception today. I love seeing the post route against defenses that are up there being aggressive, trying to stop the run. You go down the field, how about that? Stick that foot into the ground, make that break at 10 yards, and run right down the middle of the field on that post route. They come to the line at the 31-yard line. Matthews takes his spot in the backfield. Bradford's dropping back to pass once again. Very nearly intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. At the 31. Here we go. Ready. Second and 10. Hand off. Matthews right side. Matthews is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. This is third down. Bradford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Darren Sproles takes the football. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Rose, a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Black 58, rail. Black 58, rail. There we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. Sam Bradford will be under center. There we go. First down and 10. Touchdown to increase the lead. Amazing execution midway in the second quarter as they're pulling away. Yeah, I've been so impressed what they've been doing on both sides of the football here today. And uh, the coach has got to be so happy with what they see from their players. They're executing the plays just as they drew them up. Driving extra point is good. The Giants prepare to return the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. The Giants are experiencing a little bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the stars a chance to succeed, and that's what they've got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. That's another reception. Give him two. Well, that's a good route that time by the receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. First down at the 34. Looking at every option. That's an interception. They are completely out of sorts offensively. And now they add to the damage with the interception, Phil. Yeah, when you get in situations like this, go back to the really simple things. Don't take a chance. 
execute what you know you can do. If you do that, that'll give you some confidence, and then you'll start playing a lot better. And Matthews is taking the field here, and he hasn't been the primary focus of their passing game today, somewhat surprisingly, but they haven't needed him. I think it's caught the defense off, off guard. They were expecting him to be the primary left, focus, left, left. and they put all their efforts into stopping him. That's work, but they forgot there's other players out there who can get it done, and that Lola's team is just, even though they're not getting the football to their star wide receiver, they're winning, and that makes you happy. The Eagles want to count on the running game and have done so to this point. And Matthews is taking the ball, and he's leading this team on the field right now. Boy, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but I also say this. The offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you got to give a lot of credit to the old lineman. It's second down and three. Down the field. What a catch. Touchdown. This performance has been flawless, Parker. It's been men against boys through the first quarter and a half. You know, every once in a while you get a game like this. It only probably happens for teams once or twice a year where you can see uh, somewhere in the second quarter that you are going to win the football game. Man, it lets you relax. It takes some pressure off, and it just makes for an awesome week ahead. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Getting ready to kick it off. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Eagles defense, Phil, has been truly dominant here today. Sometimes when you see a game like this, you go, oh, it might be boring. But this defense has been so dominating and so active in what they're trying to do. It's been fun to watch. The Eagles defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. First down at the 20. Jennings got it on the handoff. And Jennings is brought down. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. the Giants from the 27 and the pass is thrown away so after that last incompletion it is third and three press coverage all the way Manning's back in shotgun formation It's into the surefire hands of Odell Beckham Jr. Eli Manning, when you talk about this giant offense, to me it's about downfield throws. They do it a lot, and they're good at it. Nice throw by Eli Manning. This play set up by the long gainer. Jennings going to secure the handoff. The ball is jarred loose. And the recovery is made by the defense. That's a good learning experience right there. You fumble the football. You learn from it. You know why you fumbled it. Next time, correct it so you don't do it again. Beeson's got to get this defense rallied behind him now as they come out for this drive. It hasn't been the kind of performance they had in mind coming into the game, partner. If they keep this up, you know what's going to happen? There's going to be some changes on the defensive side. We saw the coaches on the sideline. They were very upset about the quality of play. Here we go. The Eagles take it from the 38. 
looking to go down the field here. Hooper's got it on a pass that had something taken off of it. The Eagles are up right now, Phil, and that's at least partly due to the play of their quarterback. Bradford's been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it, and that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it in the game. First down here after the completion. And Matthews has got the catch on the touch throw. Two-minute warning. Welcome back. Halftime just a couple of minutes away as we resume play out of the two-minute warning. Go, go, go. First down Please. following Please. the long play. They'll go ground. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. This game gets more and more out of hand. The second half may just end up being a mere formality. It could be. You know, you go in at halftime in a game like this when you're really getting, getting manhandled, you got to find a way just to make a few plays to give you hope. If you can do that, look, in this league, you never know. The Eagles for the extra point. And the point after is good. Bradford certainly giving his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. A look at Odell Beckham Jr. right there. Maybe it hasn't been the best first half for his team. But individually, he's had a heck of a game up to this point. Yeah, he's played tremendous, no question about it. He's a great player, and what the offense has to do is take advantage of that and find ways to get other people involved because they're focusing on him. Go ahead and find the secondary receiver and see if he can make some plays also. Out of the shotgun. Well, the head coach has got to be looking at the guy and fumbled and says, man, maybe I better take him out. When you make that kind of mistake, you're very lucky to get away with it by recovering your own fumble inside your own 20. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Great grab there. Snags it with one hand. It'll be third down. The Eagles call the timeout. Their first. On the way, third down. Manning's got it in the gun. Boy, a lot of heads shaking going on as the offense leaves the field. Whatever their game plan was coming in, it's time to get to work on plan B for the second half, Phil. Absolutely. Look, there's a lot of head shaking. I'm going to tell you also, there's a lot of hurt feelings down there. And I know, yeah, they're pros, but their feelings can be hurt. They're down in the dumps. they got to find a way to pick it up. is taken down at the 49. That returner, when he goes to the sideline, I promise you that special teams coach is going to rip him a new one. Hold on to the football. Lucky to get it back after that fumble. The Eagles have had a smart and snappy first half, and that's reflected on the scoreboard. Sounds like the way I dress. Smart and snappy. That is me. But, you know, hey, it's been a good first half for the offense. 
They want to keep it going. I'm sure they will. Two tight ends on the field here. Matthews right side. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. He's got over 130 rushing yards today. Good job that time by the ball carrier. Pick it up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stop the clock. Setting up now at the 44-yard line. Black 58 Royal. Black 58 and Matthews is in the backfield. Single back set. Slashes to the left side. Amukamara is in on the tackle. Matthews is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Here we go, Blue 45. Blue 45. Ace, 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 ace. The Eagles snap it at the 36. Staying on the ground. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Double tight end formation. Takes it again. And Matthews is marked down at the 19. The Eagles are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Backfield, single back set. Matthews, right side, and he races out of bounds at that point. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. Chip shot here. He converts here on the field goal try. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. is ready to lead this defense back into battle. He's been front and center in what's been a sensational effort from that unit throughout the first half. You're right, Jim. He is front and center, and the offense is putting all their efforts into making sure he's not the reason why they're losing, but they forgot all the other guys around him. They're pretty good, too, and they are getting it done. And that will do it for the first half that was exciting for one side and a complete embarrassment for the other. It's blowout city here as we've reached halftime. Larry coming up next to break down the mismatch. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Eagles want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Giants, on the other hand, want to quiet this crowd and turn things around. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. First and 10, Manning's under pressure will throw the pick. Maxwell's reading the play and comes away with it, ending the drive. After the pick, offense comes out now. Matthews able to get clear of the defense, and he'll take this all the way for the touchdown. Eagles up now by 21. Now after the fumble, middle of the field, the pass will be caught, and this five-play drive goes for a touchdown. Eagles way in front. Now first and 10, the pass ends up being picked off. Kendricks is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drop. After the INT, offense comes out now. Bradford's got his mark on the deep ball, and it leads to a touchdown. The Eagles way in front. About halfway through the second quarter, the ball will pop loose here. They'll pick up only a few yards here. A 
following the forced fumble. Matthews looking for room to run, and he ends up rushing in for a second touchdown. The blowout continues. So that's it from here. We'll kick you back down to the field for the start of the second half. Back now at Lincoln Financial Field. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. He's got a chance to return this one. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That return's good for about 18. The Eagles just keep on moving the football down the field. They have scored on three consecutive drives, Phil, and it looks like this defense has no answer for them. No, they don't. They're second-guessing everything they're doing on the defensive side. You know, when you get a defense that reacts instead of attacks, then you know you have their number, and that's what's happening right now. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Shrugs off the first hit. And Matthews is brought down. Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second hey, half. Hey, Every first up, down you get shortens that football game. First and ten to the ground. Gain of seven. The Eagles have really been able to run the ball today. That's been a huge reason why they lead. And Matthews has been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, but it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Murray's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Here's the handoff. Murray's tackled down after a gain of five. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Murray's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. He'll get it again. Picks up about five. The Eagles, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and he picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. He'll get it again. And Matthews is marked down after a gain of four. Tim, when you look at the situation right here, you, you have a big lead. You're down near the goal line ready to score. And what you do to be a good sport, you just nice, line up, nice. you try to score, but you do it with a running play. Ready. Ryan Matthews runs it across for the score. Touchdown. This is going to be a true statement win for them today. They are serving notice to the rest of the NFL that this is what they want to do the rest of the year. And that is be sharp on offense, be physical and off on defense. And this is what can happen. You can win in a blowout. talk about momentum that turns into an eight-point trip the touchdown and the two this offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time it'll be a touchback 
the Eagles defense is having a field day so far. They've been ready for just about anything. The offense has tried a very impressive display here Berger. Jim they are whooping tail on the defensive side. That's the cleanest way I can say it. They have been fun to watch dominating physically and they got a shutout goal. First down at the 20 pulls it in and picks up maybe three or four. I know you won't believe this but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence so it does serve a purpose. The Eagles with two extra defensive backs in the dime. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Encroachment defense. Still second down. The Giants have it at the 29. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Third down on the way. The Eagles go with the dime formation here on defense. Halfway through the third quarter. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Phil, this team has been menaced all game long on third down. They cannot figure out a way to pick up a first. Well, listen, I can't figure out what menaced means. I, I, I got to start bringing a dictionary with me to the games I'm doing with you. You throw out all these big words, but if you mean they've been bad, and I agree. And a run back of only a yard. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. The Eagles were on fire in the first half, and they are committed, it's obvious, to playing inspired football for four quarters. Partner. They're playing inspired football, but... Man, I, I don't know. Listen, this defense has been awful. So it's, it's a combination of both, but this defense has got to find a way to pick it up. They're winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. Matthews lined up in the backfield. The Eagles will take the snap from the 40. Looking to go deep. Touchdown. They're just running it up. Bill, we're midway through the third quarter, and there is no letting up. Man, this is a lot of a good thing. That's what they're doing on both sides of the ball. The offense scoring points, the defense dominating play. They are just having a good old time out there. touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion yeah good job by the offense they executed the play perfectly and they got in the end zone like you said and got that two points the Giants prepared to return the kickoff they're setting up the return Tackles made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Giants' offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sidelines. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. 
The Eagles defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. In completion here as he was looking over the middle. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Giants at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Manning from the shotgun. Randall's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Phil, this team has been menaced all game long on third down. They cannot figure out a way to pick up a first. Well, listen, I can't figure out what menaced means. I, I, I got to start bringing a dictionary with me to the games I'm doing with you. You throw out all these big words, but if you mean they've been bad, then I agree. Sproles is met at the 44. That time he... gets a couple yards and if I'd have been the punt returner that time I would have called for a fair catch defense was close all around you there was nowhere to go a lot of things have to go wrong in any game for it to be this one sided but you look at the matchup at running back and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out yeah when you run the football well we all know you control the tempo of the game and also you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense that's why they're blowing the other team out quick drop back Sam Bradford going down the field. And it's picked off by Rogers Cromartie. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Giants' offensive line has been mauled at times, Phil. Manning's been finding ways to make plays even under pressure. Well, the number one thing... quarterback in the NFL Jim yeah I know you need talent you got to throw the football but if you're not tough you have no chance at success we are finding out he is one tough guy it's a two tight end formation first down at the 20 and that'll gain just a few yards he's averaged about two yards a carry on the day Jennings trying to be patient but there is nowhere to run that time and he only gets a short game it's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. And Jennings taking the handoff. Now looking at third down. The Giants are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Manning's going to take it from the gun. 
Larry Donnell has the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. When you play special teams in the NFL, it's all about hustle. The punt team showed none of it. That's why they gave up that punt return for a touchdown. Gets the handle here. So many things you can do from the two-yard line now. The NFL, all the teams can spread you out. They can run it. The quarterback can keep it. The big plays, the passes, very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion. No return as this goes for a touchback. The Eagles have displayed a phenomenal defense here today, and I think you would agree, Phil. That's the reason they're in position to win this game. Yeah, the defense has been incredible. So aggressive, so full of emotion, running around. Every time you see a tackle, there's like seven or guys on the defensive side around the ball carrier. So that's awesome defense. That's why they're winning this game here so far today. The Eagles will use a timeout here. early in the second half. First down, offense readying for the snap. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Barwin gets to him for the sack. You just got to know when your offensive line is overmatched. And when they're overmatched, you got to be simpler, quicker with your passes, and protect the quarterback with more people back there helping. Three-step drop. Manning's pass will go for an incompletion this time. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Randall's got it on a pass that had some heat. Good job on the defense. Yeah, they're well-taught, well-schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, The Giants will punt the football. Three quarters in the books, and this game hasn't been close. We're back after this. They're set to punt it away now. Good coverage here as they'll cover this one up as their defense heads onto the field. A 
lot of things have to go wrong in any game for it to be this one sided. But you look at the matchup at running back, and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out. Yeah, when you run the football well, we all know you control the tempo of the game, and also you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense. That's why they're blowing the other team out. Matthews in the backfield, single back set. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Wants to go deep. And it falls incomplete. You got to try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't throw off that back foot. Bradford's lined up, two tight end set. Second down and ten. Looking long. One-handed. Makes the grab. Cooper's going back to the huddle, and he's telling everybody, look up at the Jumbotron, and let's watch a replay of me making this spectacular catch. Bradford completion percentage 70% on the day. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Runs it in for the touchdown. just adds to what was already going to be a lopsided victory. Well, you and I have done a few lopsided wins, but this one will be right at the top of the list and right from the very start. You know, we heard it from the coaches. They had a lot of confidence in their team today, and boy, their team came out. They were sharp, and they got it done. Attention, more decision making is the second guess in the NFL, and now they're going to have it. This two point conversion, more teams are going to do it because they don't want to kick the extra point from the 15 yard line. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Eagles' defense right now is the story of this game, Phil. Yeah, and it's been a short story because the offense can do nothing against what they're doing. They are being physically dominant. The defensive coordinator, he's had a great day calling plays, and the defensive players taking advantage of it. The Eagles come out in a dime package. First down at the 20. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his fifth catch of the day. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make the play. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Manning's completion percentage, 60% on the day. 
Beckham is tackled down at the 45. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football. They need to get the playoff. Offense a little too slow getting set at the line on that one. Play of game, offense. Still first down. is lined up as the single back. First down at the 15. Stands in the pocket. Cooper's got the grab on the touch pass. And that's his third catch of the day. The Eagles have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. Bradford's had a huge performance in this one. When you talk about creating opportunities, that's where you have to give credit to the coaching staff. They have helped the players. The play designs have been good, and the players are taking advantage of it. It's first down as they head to the line. Here we go, green, 90. Green. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. A near interception that time by Rodgers Cromarty. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. The Giants lined up in the nickel. Here we go now. Three, 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 the Eagles from the 32. Looking long. They could have used a few more of those plays earlier, partner. As it stands here in the fourth, it's way too late for them to turn things around. Yeah, it's been a bad day for everything on the football team. The defense has had a rough day. Yeah, that interception helps a little bit. But here comes the offense on the field, and they have had an awful day. Looking at the stats now, you see two wide receivers who had filled the role of being a number one option today. Yeah, you always want one wide receiver to step. The Eagles will take the snap from the 35. Well, you can't knock them all down, and sometimes the running back has just got to break a tackle. Good job that time. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The give. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Matthews is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Murray, the lone setback this time. Now first and ten. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, he's in the NFL because of this, because this guy can break tackles. Good job on that play. Left, 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 left. Murray go, lined up Green, in the backfield. Green, Second and four. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. The Giants guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it. And they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Third down now. Left, 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 left. Two minutes to go in the second half. We 
return out of the two minute warning fourth quarter action they bring in the extra tight end third and five will go ground the tackles made and the first down is picked up Rose is a very smart runner he knows situations in the game he saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. And Matthews is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. And the give to Ryan Matthews. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Matthews is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Eagles from the 27. The Eagles call a timeout and are left now with only one. They come to the line at the 24. Bradford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. And Matthews is marked down at the 19. Right call here by the coach in this situation. Keep running the football. Keep that clock moving. You have the lead. Just tell your quarterback to tell everybody on offense this. Hold on to the football and don't have a penalty where you can stop that clock. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Matthews in the backfield. Single back set. And Matthews has met after a gain of eight. The Eagles with no timeouts left. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Should be what we call a gimme. The kick is good. All that animosity, all that hatred, all the buildup, and in the end, it was a win that was a one-sided affair. Yeah, it was in all sides. Everything you looked at, they got out hit today. And they weren't as physical. They were not smart on the field. Even the design of what they were trying to do, the managing the game, that was wrong on the coaching side. Just one awful effort. Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.